Hello, great ones. How are you today? Uh, welcome to our English lesson. In our English lesson today, we want to look at doing words. Doing words. How do we form doing words when we have um, been given a, a doing word? Something like it. If someone says it, how do you form the one? What are you doing at the moment? Uh, all right. So we've done in the past the I words. So today we want to look at ing. We are adding ing to form our doing words. All right. Okay. So first let's look at the word it. It. So I say it. And what are you doing at the moment? I am eating. We say I am eating. So you simple add ing at the end of that word simple add ing and then you say i am eating let's write that word together so it forms a word e a t i n g eating simple isn't it so eat then you are eating now let's look at the next word there wash wash if you say wash, what are you doing at that particular moment? I am washing. Let's write that word down. I am washing. I am washing. Simple add ing at the end. ing. So wash and you are washing. All right, good. Now let's look at the third word there. Sweep. Sweep. What are you doing there? Sweep. Okay. So if someone says sweep, then you ask, what are you doing? I am sweeping. Let's write that word down. You copy it as it is, and then at the end you just add ing. So sweep, and you are sweeping. Sweeping, just it ing. You're not changing anything there. Now, our last word on that page there drink. Say drink. What are you doing? I am drinking. Just copy the word as it is and do it ing. All right. Now, let's think of other examples which we have where you need to add ing. Let's think of doing words. Which one can you think of at the moment? All right. Okay. Yes. I've got a few other examples there. Let's go. That word is play. Play. Form a word by adding ing and you come up with playing. What about go? Good. Got it right. Go win. Just add ing and pray. Every day you must read your Bible and pray. So pray, praying. Stand. Someone says to you, stand. And you stand up. Then you say, I am standing. And rain. Suppose outside there is rain. We say it is raining. All right. Very good. I think you've grasped, you've grasped that easy exercise of forming words just by adding ing. To the word which you have been given. All right. Now, let's relate that now to the pictures and sentences which I have here. Let's look at that boy there, Marcos Aenza. I will call him Marcos. See there? What is he doing? Good. You got it right. He is washing. Yes. Let us always remember that when we've been asked, we should answer in complete sentences. Usually, we're fond of just one word answers. Yes. We can use them, especially when we're talking, but especially when we're writing and we want to practice our language, let's learn to use complete sentences. So it's written there, he is washing. All right. And then there is prudence there. What is prudence doing? What is prudence doing? Yes, look at her carefully there. Yes, she is drinking. What is she drinking? We may look there and think that there's a white liquid in her cup there. What is she drinking? She is drinking milk. Prudence is drinking 
milk. Good. Now, let's look at the third picture there. What is happening in the picture? We see those two there sitting there. What are they doing? They are eating. What are they eating? There's a white stuff there in their plate. It could be salsa. They're eating salsa. It could be rice, rice or same or whatever. Good. And then now, our last what are they doing? Those two things there. Uh, they're carrying books. That one is carrying books on her head. So they're probably going to school. Good. So we have used ing in our sentences. Welcome, Alwande. Welcome to our English lesson. All right. Alwande, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, you're late today. Welcome to our lesson. I'll quickly go over what I've just done. We are forming doing words. All right. And as for me to say, by adding ing, by adding ing to the words which we have been given. All right, can you quickly write that? ing. Let's do that, Alwane. Copy that. ing words. ing. So, I was saying we, form, we are able to form I, by I, adding ing. Like suppose, let's look at that word, Alwande. Alwande, sit that straight. I want to see it's a little bit dark there. Can't we have some light, some more light there so that we can see you properly? Let's have some more light. All right. Thank you. It's a little bit better. Okay, so can you read that word? What word is that? What word is that? And then, yes. Thank you. Yes, that word is? Eat. Eat. Okay, when it's like that, that. Yes. So if you want to form Eat. a word using ing, so at the moment, what is Alwande doing? She is eating. She is eating. Eating and we eating. by adding ing at the end of the word. All right, you get that, Alwande? Yes, okay, good. And now let's go to the next word. Or oh, let's start with the round me after I have done the pictures. Let's quickly go over the pictures again. I said that boy is Makosi Day. What is Makosi doing, Alwande? What is Makosi doing? He's carrying buckets. He's carrying a bucket. The bucket's on the floor. He's not carrying any bucket there. What is he doing? Look at his hand. He is washing. He is washing. Good. And what about you there? That's you there. What are you doing? Drinking water. Yes, he's drinking. All right. So that one is washing. So from the word wash, then we get the word washing. From the word drink, that's what? Drinking. Good. Now let's go to that picture. What are those two doing there? What are eating. They? Very good. They are eating. eating. Uh-huh. And then those ones there? What are they doing? They're, they are carrying books to school. They are carrying books. Probably they are going to school. Very good. All right, so those words which we we're just talking about, washing, drinking, eating, going, we form those words by adding ing to the doing work, which is what we're doing there. So from the word eat, then we get eating. You get that? Can you also write the word eating? Eat, eating. Yeah, simple adding ing at the end. Eat, eating. Okay. E. E. Yes. Talk about what, how we form the doing work. Eat, eating. Huh? All right. Like that. And one day. Now let's go to wash. Then wash. I think you get washing. I think you add ing. Copy the word wash. Wash. Someone is disturbing you there. 
And one day, can you write the word wash? Wash. Eat, eating. What about wash? You have copied the word wash? Yes. Now, can you form a. Wash Yes, write it down. Let me see you. Let me see your word. Wash, washing. All right. So eat, eating, wash, washing. There is it. All right. Very good. So that is how we form the words. We also have sweep there and I've got sweeping. Now let's go to drink. From the word drink, which word can we form? Drinking. Drinking. Good. Now write it down. Write the word drink. Write the word drink. You can copy the word drink. And then you form the new word by adding ing. Drink. Faster. You said eat, eating, wash, washing, sweep, sweeping. Now we are on drink. They formed your word. Let me see it. Drink, drinking. Very good. All right. You take time because we've been writing the word again. Now just write, just it ing so that we don't take a lot of time. Good. More examples. What about play? Now let's just say them out. Play. Play. Good. What about go? Going. What about pray? Praying. Praying. Stand. Standing. What about rain? Raining. Very good. So there are many words which you can use form by just adding ing and you add you, you have your doing work there. Now I want us to go to a different category of uh, of words. Can you write down the word run? Run. Can you run? Run, 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 run. Run. <sighs> We have written it. Very good. Now, can you write the word dig? I am digging in the garden. Dig. We have written run. And then now I'm saying write the word dig. You have done that? Good. No. Why? Write it. Run and dig. Where is it? Run, yes, dig. D I G. D I G. Yes, coming down, put it side by side. Write again the word run on its own. Don't rub. Alwande. Alwande, you are taking time rapping. That's yes. it. Just write the word. Write it again. Run and then dig. Run and dig. Can you just write again? Run, dig, and put. It's just a run. Mm -hmm. Dig. Dig. And put. Put. All right. Okay, Vakel. Mm -hmm. Now, these ones, these words and other examples, before you add ing, you repeat the last letter. You repeat the last letter. So letter. Like running, you first of all put another N and then ing. You put N and then ing. Okay? So that you have running. I was running. You put another N and then I-N-G. All right? Can you copy the word running? Yes. Can you copy it down? 
Run, running. To say it. Okay. You repeat the last letter and then you, before you add your I N T to make the new word. All right. Let me see the running. Very good. Yes. The other ones I said, write them coming down. Don't write, you crowd your work there. So under dig, again, you repeat the last letter. Repeat the last letter and then you add I N G. Just write the word digging. Don't write the word dig again. Repeat the last letter and add I N G to form your new word. Let me see if I follow the instructions. Where is your ticking? There. Okay, thank you. All right, you didn't follow my instruction there. I said repeat the last word. You see, we had run, and then we put another N to form I N G. Now I'm saying write the word dig, and then you put another, which is the last letter there? Good, isn't it? The G is the last. Yes. So repeat the G. So write G again. Don't wrap. Just cancel. Write again. You put again another G and then I A G. All right. Repeat the last word. Letter. Repeat the last letter. Okay. Yes. That's correct. Now. Good. Now let's go on to the next one. Write the word put. You have put. Put. Put that pencil down, and then you are putting that pencil down. Put. Put. Uh huh. So don't forget to repeat the last letter. Repeat the last letter, and then I N G. Let's go. Repeat the last letter, and then add I N G. Okay. Well done. You got that one right. Very good. So for other words, that is what you have to do. All right, good girl. Now let's go to our last set of words. All right, can you write the word uh, make? I am making a doll. Give you a homework for making a doll. Make, make. Can you spell the word make? Can you try? Let me see how clever you are. Make, make. Can you make a dog? Make. Have you tried? Let me see. M A. Okay, read M E. All right, there it is. There. Make. Write it again. Don't wrap. Write another on another line. Make. Make. Uh -huh. And then I put another way. All right, thank you. Now write again the word drive. Can you drive a car? Drive. Good. Drive. Drive. You have copied it. Good. And lastly, can you write the word right? Right. Write this one. Let's write. <laughs> Let's write. Okay, it looks like your gadget has got a problem. Our internet connection is not stable now. Okay, that's the word right. When we are making words, you end them with ing. This word ends with what? What letter is that, Alwande? What letter is that? E. Letter E. That one? E. That one? E. e. All e. three words end with the letter E. When we form, want to form an ING word, we remove the A and then add ING. We remove the A and then add e. ING. And then we have making. Then we have the what? Making. So remove the A and then add ING. Do you see that? That's the word making. Now we have the word drive. Let's look at the word drive. 
You see the word drive? Drive. Yes. So again, we will yes. see A. We'll remove the letter E. And then add I-N-G. Can you copy the word drive? Copy the word drive. Drive. Good. So you remove the A and then add I-N-G. And then you have driving. My father is driving a car. Good. Can you form the word driving? You remove the letter E at the end and add I-N-G. Let me see the word driving now. You have the word driving. Let me see. Very good. Well done. Well done. What about write? That's our last word. Write. Can you write the word writing? Remove the A and write and add I-N-G. Writing. Let's mind the spelling there. I know you get it right. Most people usually write the word writing wrongly. I know you get it right. There, there is my favorite girl. Excellent. Very good. You remove the letter. Thank you. Right. And then we have writing. Very good. So that is how we form the ing words. We're forming words using ing. All right. So don't forget, for other words, you just add ing. For others, you have the double, you double that letter, which is at the end. And then you add ing. And for these last ones, you remove the e letter and then write ing. That is how we form uh, our words. All right. Teacher. Yes, my dear. Teacher. Yes, Alwande. I write, I write making. You have written making. Wow, very good. Let me see it. Let me see your making. Wow, very good. Well done, my dear. Well done. Put your book down. All right, it was a pleasure being with you. See you again tomorrow, Amanda. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a great day.